Okay, Ed, we're doing this again. The last time I saw you was down at Paradise Aircraft, and we were out in an airplane, and I was hanging my butt out the door, taking some video and pictures. <laughs> it was cold. That's right. Now I'm up here in Arizona, and it's hot. <laughs> Welcome to Arizona. So you were still with the Paradise Aircraft. Well, yes, I'm with Paradise now with new owners, and new management. Now, this is a little bit different airplane than most of the, well, pretty well all of the aircraft that are out here on the field today, in that this was designed and built in Brazil um, as a four-place airplane, from my understanding. Well, they made four-place airplanes, then they decided to make the two-place, the P-1, and go in the light sport business. They've been building airplanes about 35 years. So, uh, how is this airplane being accepted into the U.S. then? Accepted very well. It's uh, built with a steel frame from the firewall back to the tail, and it's covered with aluminum all over the wings and the fuselage, and we use fiberglass in the doors and other areas to keep the weight down. Metal construction, though, it makes it so that it's durable out, uh, outside. It, it, it uh, really can handle some of the elements. It's very strong, wide steel frame and aluminum. So we have we are 43.3 inches wide, so we're almost as wide as a Cessna 172. Very comfortable inside. People your size and my size can sit side by side with no problem. Is there any adjustability built into this aircraft for yes, this guys airplane, that are taller? Yes, this airplane has adjustable seats on the pilot and co-pilot side. Also, it has uh, tow wheel brakes on both sides, and it also has nose wheel steering, which is very, very comfortable for pilots. And also, you'll notice inside when you look at that, it has two yokes. So it's like flying a 150 on steroids. You were mentioning about the uh, the yoke system. Again, this is something that uh, most conventional pilots that have had training over the past 30 years would be familiar with. That makes them feel real comfortable. They can step into the paradise and just like they're transitioning from a 150. They feel real comfortable. Everything's at the controls are in the center for the throttle. You've got your elevator right in the middle in the console. It's Everything is set up for flight training and pleasure flying. It's really set up nice. And there's a lot of storage in behind that seat as well. Yes, we have the third door. I screamed at them for about a year to get that third door in. They do and they've kept the heavy hinges on it as you'll notice, and the door opens up and you can put 77 pounds in the back end in luggage, or if you've got a 77 pound dog, it'll fit good in the back. What kind of performance do you get out of it uh, with the 912 engine on it? Well, we're looking at climb out uh, about 800 feet a minute of full tanks in one person. And with two people on, it's about 550 climb out. And what kind of cruise speeds do we come at? We're looking at about a little over 100 miles an hour cruise speed. And stall speed? Stall speed with full flaps is about 45 uh, miles an hour. And what would, say, my approach speed uh, uh, as I'm coming in? You can approach it about 60 miles an hour on final and get over the runway and slow down about 55 and, okay. and then grease her down. Now, if you were looking at uh, getting this airplane, say, for a cross country, what kind of capability does it have as far as fuel and that type of thing? Well, the standard tanks are 25. On all my demos, I like the 36-gallon tank, and it gives you a good six and a half hours flying time. And so, how, approximately how many are flying worldwide? I would say uh, around 1,500 worldwide, and in the United States, 15 or 20 in the United States. Okay. Now, in the U.S., it's uh, a special light sport aircraft. It is an SS, an SLSA. Okay. So that means that someone just basically places an order with you, and then what happens after that? Well, they place an order with us. It takes us two or three months to get their airplane in on certain paint jobs and all the equipment they want, the avionics and all that. But we can, from deposit to getting the airplane, figure roughly three months. Okay. So and that's in. basically a turnkey option, then? It's Somebody's a turnkey. In. Right. We bring the airplanes into Sebring, Florida, and that's where they pick it up. And I might add that uh, we're starting a new program with 15% down and the remainder when they pick their airplane up at Sebring. So uh, I've ordered my airplane. I've got delivery of it. Uh, the problem that I have is I either need conversion training because I'm a conventional pilot or I need training because I'm just getting into it. Is that available to me? Yes, it is. We're going to provide training at Sebring, Florida 
or if the airplane's delivered here in Glendale, we'll have adequate training here at Glendale Airport for anybody who wants to learn how to transition to the Paradise. Okay, so I, I've got my airplane now. I've gotten uh, training either at Sebring or through you. I've flown 50, 60 hours on my airplane. I need a little bit of service or uh, tune-up or whatever I need. How are you going to help me out there? Well, we have a service facility at Glendale Airport where we take care of all the annuals, oil changes, or anything that needs to be done. And on the East Coast, we're setting up with Ted Bryant. He'll be handling that area, and he'll have a facility, and he has full maintenance facilities where he's at. Okay, so if somebody wanted to get in touch with you to a little bit of training, a little bit more information on the Paradise aircraft, what's the easiest way to do that? Well, the easiest way, of course, is my phone number is 623-695-9040, or they can contact me via the email at ed at southwestsportplanes.com, and I'll answer you there. And what area of the country are you uh, located uh, in? Based out of Phoenix, Arizona at Glendale Airport. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.